Now, let's look at the other side of the equation, which is the military side, all right? And you have to do both. You have to do both. Former IDF counterterror operative Aaron Cohen. Aaron, it's great to have you. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you again, Chris. So I understand uh, strategically and in terms of mandate of existential threat, why Israel uh, believed it needed to reach out and touch the Iranian generals um, in Damascus. But of course, there has to be an expectation of retaliation. So these headlines I'm seeing that Israel is like in panic mode, you had to know that this was going to happen. So what is the expectation of what the next wave brings? Well, Chris, it's a good question. Uh, the only thing I can really speak to on a strategic level uh, as far as uh, how Israel would be thinking right now is based on three key components. Uh, the first thing is actionable intelligence. So regardless of what the chatter is, uh, obviously, there would be an expectation. But remember, Chris, Israel's been getting attacked uh, for the last six months out of southern Lebanon, which was in direct correlation to General Zahedi, who was the uh, uh, the general that mm -hmm. Israel targeted in that airstrike. He was the ground commander for all southern operations uh, attacking Israel, which has displaced almost 100,000 Israelis out of the north. So yeah, Israel was guy. acting in a, in a defensive capacity there. However, the main point with Israel and how it conducts its military operations will be based on actionable intelligence, the most important thing. So the moment Israel has actionable intelligence, which could lead to a cluster or thousands of drones, which I'm hearing, or potential uh, 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 missile strikes coming into Israel from Iran, Israel's strength, Chris, will be what it's always been, which is preemptive attacking. And if Israel feels it must preemptively engage Iran, whether it's on Iranian soil or in Syria or in Lebanon, it will do so. And that is what the survival of Israel relies on. It was in 67, again in 73. Uh, it's the yeah. way Israel will survive as a nation. They have to be aggressive. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.